Hey guys, excuse me. Back <laughs> from 15. Back at it with another video for you guys. And I am back with another Endo and Kobayashi episode review for you guys. Um, I believe last time I checked, I missed last week's episode of Endo and Kobayashi. Yes, I did. I didn't talk about Endo and Kobayashi. Uh, episode, uh, um, episode, uh, eight, I believe, or, yeah, I didn't talk about episode eight. So, um, I'm here talking about episode, um, nine, I believe, um, and what a good, uh, what, what a good episode. We get some, uh, resolutions, but at the end of the day, we got that little ending to the episode where it seems like, uh, things are not really going um exactly uh well my bad this is episode eight last week was episode seven um which i actually did do a review on my bad i thought i missed uh thought i missed a week huh. oh, i guess i got mixed up i got i guess i got messed up whatever 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 anyways anyways um, this week's episode, um, consists of, uh, Lee Soliette still dealing with the nightmares that the Witch of Yore has got her going through. Um, and then at the same time, we also get kind of a, a uh, um, a conversation between, a uh, Leon, the teacher, and Fine's mother. Um, I forgot her, Fine's mother's name, um, which I think... I think it's Elizabeth. I have to go check. Um, Endo and Kobayashi. Endo and Kobayashi. Uh, Endo and Kobayashi. Uh, Fine Ma. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. 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 Um. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Elizabeth. Um. Okay, yeah, Elizabeth Fine's mom. Elizabeth Elizabeth Fine. Yeah, we get that um whole aspect right then and there, and then you know that's you you, you get a confession angle between uh Lisa Liette and uh, Siegwald, and uh, yeah, that's kind of where the episode ends off, but uh. If that was it, then I would be out of here. But um, let's obviously talk in depth. Um, it's actually pretty interesting to find out that uh, Elizabeth, Fine's mom, and Leon, they actually do we know each other. And they know each other actually pretty well. Um, we get a flashback moment to when they were much younger, when Dude was like a seven-year-old boy, and she looked like she was like, a, like in early teenage age. Well, I want to say early teenage, like mid to late teenage, almost like pre-adult um, age. And, you know, we can see, we can obviously tell this is the time when obviously Fine's dad was going through what he was going through. And then, you know, her, uh, Elizabeth wasn't cool with what they were trying to do to split them up and everything. And we find out, obviously, she was uh, learning like these different spells and curses and things like this forbidden magic type of stuff. And practically, she she tells Leon pretty much as a kid. She takes Leon away like this one room, and we can kind of see in this episode that Leon definitely has the hots for uh, Fine's mom, Elizabeth. He definitely is in love with her because the moment it's like for him, I guess you could say like the first crush she ever developed because when she grabbed his hand and she ran away with him and everything. You know, he started to get a little bit flustered, and you can tell, like, okay, yeah, this dude, he is, uh, I wouldn't say simping, but, uh, he is, he is in love, in love with, uh, Elizabeth. Um, and practically, you know, she's like, I bet you're, like, the same like me. You don't like, you know, living in this, you know, society in terms of how it's supposed to be ran and everything, so... You know, we find out that, oh, uh, Elizabeth actually taught Leon all she knows in terms of, like, these spells and these different curses and yada, yada, yada. Um, all these, all these magic tricks and things like that. Um, and it's actually pretty nice to know that. Um, but we, when we come back to the present time, like, he's, like, shocked to see her, um, because 
she ends up being um, caught by his trap. But, you know, we kind of can see, like, he's, you know, he's trying to, like, I guess you can say in a way, like, shoot in his shot. Because there was a point where he ends up, like, taking off her mask and everything. And she's like, that's not very respectful of a gentleman to do that. And he was like, listen, I just wanted to see your beautiful looking face. And I'm like, okay, Leon, you, you're trying to shoot your shot. Okay, I can respect it. You know, he makes the mention, you know, about the fact that, well... You know, I am around the age of what your, you know, ex-husband was and everything. So, you know, uh, pretty much letting her know, like, hey, you know, I, I want to, you know, hook up pretty much. But it seems like she's definitely not down with that yet, I'm guessing. Um, but she asked um, Leon, like, hey, can you help out with this issue with Lisa Liette? Like, she's being... Um, attacked by the Witch of Yore, uh, you think there's something you can do, and obviously, um, Leon's like, no, nah, not really, I can't really do much anything about it, like, I don't want to really deal with that stuff, you know, she's like, oh, well, I guess that's disappointing, but hey, it was good to at least see your face again, it's been a long time, so, uh, yeah, that's kind of the thing there, um, I don't know if they're gonna develop, like, have another romance angle they got going alongside of Sigual, Lee Soliete, Endo and Kobayashi, and then Ball and Fine. Um, but if they want to add a fourth relationship pairing going on, honestly, you know, I guess it would make sense the fact that I guess you could ship it. Um, you know, I I don't know if Elizabeth uh, knows that Leon likes her. You would have to think that she would. She's obviously an older woman. Um, and you, she could probably tell, like, yeah, this guy is making advances on me. He wants to, you know, hook up with me. Um, I don't want to see that happening. Now, you know, let my boy Leon, he looked a little bit, like, uh, disheveled when he was a kid. Looked like he wasn't, and then again, he was infatuated with her. Now, um, I don't know if this guy is, like, maybe a bad guy or an antagonist or a type of thing. I, I do feel suspicious about this guy. He just gives off that suspicious look and look. Maybe it's because his design looks similar to that of freaking Aizen. I don't know why, but I just feel like he might be a bad guy and things like that. And maybe he might get at Fine's mom um, and might hurt Fine just to get at Fine's mom or something like that. But um, it's going to be interesting. Uh, I do ship that relationship so i hope like they end up hooking up together like dude likes her you know uh, you know maybe at some point you know her listen your ex-husband's gone you know you're really just a single woman hey might as well freaking uh hook up with somebody you've known all your life who genuinely looks like he cares you know and things like that so uh yeah um in the meantime uh lee soliette or uh, she is having trouble with the Witch of Yore. She's still getting these nightmares and things like that of the Witch of Yore pretty much telling her like, you know, he's not gonna love you and everything. He's gonna leave you for some other girl. And we, again, this week's episode, we kind of get a montage where, you know, Seawall's doing in his best efforts to uh, get, you know, Lee Soliete to recognize him and things like that. You know, there was a part where she wakes up from her nightmare and she tells like, oh, um, she tells her maids, like, take those flowers away. He's just trying to, um, he's just trying to pity me for one of the moments I felt weak and, he, and he's trying to make me feel better. And I can't get down with that. So practically, Lisa Oliete think, thinks that, um, she, she practically thinks that Siegwald is just, like, viewing her as a weakling, pretty much. And that, oh, he's only doing all these things because... He thinks so less of her and he's just like, I'm just doing this because I'm, you know, think. It's like, why would you have that thinking if this guy is doing all these things, if he's trying to freaking hang out with you and do all these things? Like, I think he likes you a lot. But then again, that's her Sundere side kicking in. Um, but eventually, she has another whole thing with the Witch of Yore. The Witch of Yore starts throwing taunts and then insults at, um you know, about Siegwald when it looked like Lisa Liette was going, was practically going to go down under in terms of just submitting to what the Witch of Yore had, but the moment she started insulting Siegwald, or the Witch of Yore started insulting Sieg Siegwald, well then Lisa Liette comes out from like the dirt and is like, please, I'm not going to stand here 
and let you um, insult um, the high, your my, my royal highness, pretty much the Seagwald. And she overcomes the Witcher Yore and actually defeats the Witcher Yore. I'm guessing for now, um, and things like that. And practically, she's going to keep the Witcher Yore hidden. Um, you get this nice scene where Seagwald and freaking Lisa Leite, they finally express their feelings of how much they truly do love each other. Yada yada. I'm like, yes, progress. Good, good, good. They hug and things like that, and it seems like everything's A-OK. -okay. That makes Endo and Kobayashi so damn happy that it's got Kobayashi jumping for joy. She ends up falling off the couch. Endo goes to try to save her and breaks her fall. And practically, um, Kobayashi is <coughs> on top of Endo. Um, get your mind out of the gutters, people. Um, is on top is on top of her. They get flustered. You know, they look the other way. Obviously, the, it shows that their their bond is more than building than just friends you can clearly see that kobayashi looks like she's having some affection towards endo and endo we already know likes kobayashi but at this point you know we got all the relationships already good endo uh, uh F fine and ball they practically did their confession angle scene you know a few weeks ago or i think last week um and they're now gonna be a couple you got this week, you have Fe um, Lee Soliente and Siegwald. They finally uh, admit to their feelings for liking each other. Um, I guess if we're going to ship Elizabeth and uh, Leon, well, then obviously Leon's going to have to step his game up and he's going to have to tell Elizabeth, like, listen, I've always been in love with you since I first met you um, way back when we were younger. And then obviously, um, we got to have Endo and Kobayashi eventually admit to their feelings. You know, obviously Endo, he's got to man up, man. He's got to freaking tell Kobayashi, like, listen, I am in love with you. I want to be your boyfriend, whatever, man. Um, you, 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 the reason why I like you is because, um, um, you made, you made one of the darkest points in my life after having to stop playing baseball due to injury. And you encourage me to continue going on. But you know, we got to see Endo and Kobayashi hook up. So now we got to see these. This is the last potential relationship that we need to see hooked up. And then we're good. But albeit, the episode pretty much ends off in a way where the Witch of Yore, he's practically, the Witch of Yore is like practically putting a curse on everybody, I guess. And it's like, you're not going to get away with this. I, I will return. So it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen next. We might get one more plot twist where the story's going to end, maybe, where it looks like things are not going to work out as well, but then obviously things will end up working out. But listen, we got two relationships done, down, confirmed, practically, confession. Now we need our boy and girl, Endo and Kobayashi, to finally confess their feelings for one another so then they can start going out and they can start dating. But anyways, um, solid episode of Endo and Kobayashi. If you guys like the video, leave a like, put in the comment section your thoughts on uh, this week's episode of Endo and Kobayashi, as well as hit the subscribe button if you want to get more anime content or any other or any other content I upload to the channel. Till then, guys, catch you guys in the next video. Peace.